guys and welcome back to another video hope you are okay on that side of the screen and today with a really interesting mini computer from Shui. now the last one that we have seen i will leave some links right over here but we did install windows actually it already had windows but we did install a dual operating system on it with mac os so we turn it into a hackintosh which is a really fun thing to do and use a mini computer this one we will check out what we can do with it so if you are interested just follow the channel and we will give you more news as soon as possible it has a amd ryzen 7 3750h four cores eight threads a vega 10 gpu with eight gigabytes of ram and 256 gigabytes of pcie ssd wi-fi 6 and also bluetooth 5.0 in terms of the design i really enjoy it it has this bottom right over here which will let the air get in and it also lets air get in through here and it will expel through here so it will cool the machine like this really really interesting in terms of connectivity at the back we will have the power input jack dual gigabit ethernet connections which is great display ports hdmi two usb 3.0 and then at the front another two usb 3.0 a usb type c which we can use for display output as well audio output and a power button and basically this is it in terms of design it can support up to three displays 4k 60 hertz but i've been using with this display right over here a 40 inches ultra wide Eno NC, which i will uh, in a few days share with you my review about it but in terms of handling that resolution without any issues whatsoever so far now i'm really curious to do some more tests because i already did geekbench and the result was a little bit below compared to the last shui mini computer that we have seen right over here which had a intel i5 cpu but on the other hand as a better performance in terms of the gpu so i'm curious to see how will this will compare with the other one that we've seen right over here but it might make a difference in terms of gaming so i want to check that out in terms of wi-fi i was getting roughly 310 megabits per second on download and 100 on upload and of course if we use the gigabit connections then we will reach the maximum of uh, the connection which is one gigabit each in terms of the ssd inside i did open the machine so i can tell you that it's a kingston inside and we will reach 1620 megabytes per second on reads and 620 megabytes per second on writes which i do believe that there is a huge gap between the reads and writes usually the ssds that we see right over here don't have this much gap but this is what we got now i did open the machine so that we can take a better look on this first impressions video and i did upgrade the eight gigabytes that are uh, inside of ram and replaced with 32 gigabytes of ddr4 from s3 plus i will also leave a link down below so that you guys can check it out really easy it's well designed inside which we always love to check it out really easy to upgrade as you can see and we can also access really easy to the ssd nvme right over here so if we want to upgrade shui states up to one terabyte not really sure why the limitation on one terabyte i have to test out with bigger ssds like two or four terabytes and see if it's uh, capable of handling hopefully i do believe that it will but without having any more proof without testing i will have to take the word from shui on the website which states one terabyte of upgradable storage being said if you are interested to know a little bit more about this machine don't forget to subscribe to the channel and just pay attention because in a few more days i will be able to tell you a little bit more about it and my efforts to make it or turn it into a Akintosh, which is always a fun project with a lot of hours on the way, but really, really fun project. And this would look really nice on a desk with Mac OS, but let's see. If not, with Windows will look really nice as well. That being said, hope that the video was helpful in some way. And if it was, don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Peter George, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.